So in this video, I'm going to go over the basics of creating a PDF out of InDesign. For a few of your assignments, you will be required to use InDesign and you will need to be able to make a PDF in order to turn in the assignment. And it's fairly simple. There's just a few quick steps we want to go over here. So I just have a very simple document here. It's actually the assignment sheets for the basic graphic design course. And the first step we want to look at is the links palette. So this is a palette in InDesign that tells you a little bit about the images that are contained inside of the file. If you don't see this right here, you can come over to Windows and open it through this links window. And what this is going to tell us is it's going to tell us more information about the images. And one thing that's nice that it will tell us is its resolution. So if you have something that is meant for screen, it needs to be above 72 ideally. If it's for print, it should be above 300 ideally. So this is good to look at. If you're making a PDF and one of the images is very grainy or has um, some pixelation, you might look at this because this could be the problem. The other thing we want to look at over here is to see if we have anything like this. This is what we call a missing link, this red question mark. This is telling us that InDesign doesn't know where this file lives. When you place an image inside of InDesign, it actually links the file. So if you then move that file somewhere else in your computer, InDesign has no idea where it is. So you need to go ahead and relink this file by coming here and clicking relink and navigating to the correct location of where that file is or move the file back to where it was originally and this will go away. Um, if files aren't linked, typically it may also cause a resolution issue. It may be kind of grainy or be pixelated, which is something that you may be concerned about. But if everything's okay over here, we can go ahead and come up to file and go to export. And that is gonna bring up this menu. And down here at the bottom, you'll see there's different formats that you can export the file as. And primarily we wanna go with PDF print. You could also use interactive in this situation since this will be for screen, you're submitting this to Blackboard, but I'm gonna go ahead and use print and just change the settings. I'm gonna to go to save. Once I have it in the place on my computer where I would like it. I'm going to go ahead and say replace for now. And then in here I get more options. So here's the number of pages. Maybe I don't want to show the whole document. Maybe I only want the first five pages or the first 10 pages. Or maybe I do want all the pages. You'll also want to come up here and go to smallest file size. Again, this is not for print. This is to, to submit to Blackboard. I don't want large files. We want things that are easy to submit and transfer so it's quick for me to grade and for people to download things from the discussion. You may also want to come in here to compression and just look at this information. This is what you want to see, 100 and 150. That means that the resolution of the images is going to be downsampled a little bit further than print. So once you've done those two quick things, you can go ahead and click export. I'm just going through these other menus just to make sure that you can see them in case there's any issues and you can mimic what you see on my screen. So I'm going to click export and it will go ahead and create the PDF. I'm going to click cancel just because I don't want to overwrite that file that I created, but you'll get the idea here. So once you have that file, you can navigate to it on your computer and go ahead and submit it to the assignment section of Blackboard. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions about creating PDFs in InDesign, be sure to email your instructor.